90 feet up without a safety net, and topping the bill in more ways than one at Slough, Buckinghamshire, is the Francois half of the high-wire team of Francois and Angelo. He really can walk the tightrope with his eyes shut, but his act is nothing like as easy as he makes it look. Just watching can make you dizzy, but there's no doubt about it, it's the height of entertainment. Better known on the continent than in this country, the two German artists specialize in aerial thrills which demand months of training, split-second timing and nerve. Up top, they keep their reputations by keeping their heads and their balances. A sneeze, a cough, or even an itch could cause a 90-foot certain-to-be-fatal fall. Not the profession for highly strung people. Londoners once saw this piggyback act when Francois and Angelo performed it halfway over the River Thames. They did it too at Dover in the face of a 50 miles an hour gale. Last of the footwork acts is the crossover on the wire. To do this, one man has to lie across the intersecting wires and the other has to step over it. In the process of stepping, he has to balance on the one inch wire on one foot. To understand just how tricky the motorcycle acts are, it must be realized that there is absolutely nothing holding the wheels of the cycle to the wire and that nothing else but the wheels are touching the wire. Every trick is performed by means of balance only. Physics experts could explain how the relation between the centers of gravity of the two men and the cycle make this possible, but few would care to put theory into practice like this. For two men with their heads in the clouds like Francois and Angelo, their profession has one compensation. People have to look up to them. 